What up, YouTube? It's me, Kevin. And it's been a while since I've been on here, so let's see, what happened? I uh, went skiing, I broke this finger, I did a couple projects, and I have invested in a laser. Yes, a laser. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the trends, but like, leather patches? Like, they're cool. They're like the new thing now. They're going on garments, they're going on hats, I mean, uh, they're pretty cool. So I've been playing with that. I've uh, been a little busy. Made a few projects and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how I made this little green booger back here. Uh, a couple things you're going to need for this project uh, are going to be some self-tapping screws, an old screen. You'll need a 1x4 by 8 foot long. You'll need it cut into two pieces at 20 inches and you'll need to be cut uh, two pieces at 26 and a half. Some self-closing uh, drawer sliders. Uh, I'll put a little what they look like right here. Uh, get the smallest one you can find. Just make sure they're self-closing. Uh, if they don't self-close, this little project isn't really going to work that well. Otherwise, let's go. Now here I have an old screen, and what I want to do is cut it off here and here, so I'm only left with the short sides. Bam. Now, I have these two ends. It's going to be my top and my bottom. You're going to take your 20 inch board and measure one inch down from the top draw your line all the way across. <clears throat> Once you have that line, you'll take your cut in piece and go below that one inch line. Make sure that where you cut is pointing away from the one inch line. Make sure you hold it right. Flip it over. Take your self tapping screws. Screw them in. Now you got one of these. Do that twice. Now you want to mount the self-closing drawer hinges to the 26 and a half inch boards, making this part flush with the top. Find the center of these 26 and a halves and mark it down a good little bit because there are center holes on this self-closing drawer hinge that you'll need to line it up with. Once you have your lines, line up the top with the top of the board and open it. Once you open it, you'll be able to see the line and just line it up. And they come with these little bitty screws. And you just put about three of them in there. <laughs> Do that to both of them. Now that you got the drawer sliders on, you can go to the bottom part of it and mount one of these. Now, now we have the unit flipped over upside down and I have the drawer sliders pulled out and you'll see little holes where they have to screw into the one by that you got. And it's important that whatever the center was on this, 
say two inches, I'm not sure what it is. If it's two inches, you need to come over two inches and draw you a mark so that this center line lines up with that center line. Uh, basically, so your drawers line up. Then just put you two or three little screws in there. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of. Right here, I have two 2x4s two just screwed into each other. Uh, definitely, it just goes. I got screws in the back of this one, screwing into this one so that it kind of gets me off the wall a little bit. I just, I like the angle. And then it just made a little elbow and just screwed it to the wall. And then I have this one piece at the top so that I have something to mount to it at the top and at the bottom. So I got my two by that came off the wall and I have my one by up against the wall for me to screw my new little unit to. I swear I'm hitting the floor I could swear that my stomach just sunk a meter I'll be dead if I take any more Another good reason to put the 2x4 uh, back here to bring it off the wall is the fact that you just made yourself a little shelf or, you know, your scoop coder or tape or a spatula or whatever. you like that uh, I got two sitting beside each other I like to coat two things at one time I just feel like it's some kind of assembly line uh, so I don't have to stop for every single one but yeah that's it if you enjoyed it click that like button subscribe write me a comment on how Mike can make the system better uh, uh, it works pretty good you could turn it around upside down where you can push down and then up into it but I feel like uh, if you push down too far, the drawer sliders are going to just go to the ground. So uh, if you turn it the way I have it, uh, where you push up into it and then down, uh, you shouldn't really run into any problems. Yeah, that's it. So, till next time. Peace!